if they, the under 21s and this is a sign of the health of our sport you know how strong are these crews a lot of these girls have just come through yep. um, the uh, school programs and club programs and here they are representing their state for the youth age. and that is Queensland just on the screen there six members of this crew are still at school or have just left so they're a pretty young combination it is Victoria in lane three five of this crew second in New South Wales at the youth festival earlier this year in lane four New South Wales and New South Wales won the youth festival six in the crew and they've kept this combination going and they've also got Genevieve Horton in this crew 18 years of age and she's in the Australian women's eight she is the youngest member in the Australian team for the World Cup tomorrow South Australia in lane five lane six Western Australia and in lane seven Tasmania and just having a look at that South Australian combination to Bridget Badenoch uh, she's from the Adelaide Uni Boat Club in the stroke seat the coach is Ron Mobbs and Western Australia this crew finished fourth at the Youth Olympics as well and the stroke there Emma Jones in lane Victoria. seven on the outside of the course it is Tasmania Janice Kitson South is in the stroke seat so we're about to get Western underway Australia. in the interstate women's youth eight Tension. the bicentennial trophy and this should be an interesting contest too in the center of the course it is New South Wales they are the favorites they won this event last year and won the youth festival as well so New South Wales in lane four lane two it is Queensland lane three Victoria lane four New South Wales five South Australia lane six Western Australia and in lane seven it is Tasmania and right in the center of the course it is Victoria and New South Wales going out early in the interstate women's youth eight the bicentennial trophy is up for grabs and in lane four New South Wales going along nicely there a little bit clunky to start with but they're moving into their rhythm now and they lead by half a canvas in second place it is Victoria in lane three and in lane five South Australia this will be a much faster race than those single skulls and I think the conditions have switched around Tim from being slight head breeze to just a gentle waft of tail so in the eights they'll take advantage of that so this will be a quick race an early lead is a very good lead in the uh, women's eight Yes, I do notice too that in the under-23 final yesterday, the Mercantile Composite won from Mossman, which may be an indicator of the Victorians heading into this race. Five in the Victorian crew were in that race and four from Mossman in the New South Wales crew. So it is still New South Wales out in front. They lead by a canvas. Watch out for the Ducks there as they come through. New South Wales out in front. Victoria currently in second place. In third it is South Australia. And this New South Wales combination now lead by half a boat length. And coaches, of course, there, Alfie Young, and uh, we can also see Stuart Hulsell on the bike on the far side of the course as well, and it is this New South Wales combination now leading by three quarters of a boat length, Victoria in second place in lane three, and the stroke there is Addie Dunkley-Smith, of course the younger sister of Joshua Dunkley-Smith, who's going to be competing for Australia in the World Cup in the fours tomorrow through 500 metres, it is still New South Wales out in front by three quarters of a boat length, Victoria back in second place. That's a good lead from New South Wales, they've got two thirds of a length over the Victorians and uh, they've extended their lead quite nicely through the first 500. Rating's pretty high, the rating is the strokes per minute that they're rowing and a high rating is expensive and you know if you go out too high, hang on too long at that high rate, it can cost later in the race but I think the crews are settling down now nicely with New South Wales holding that three quarters of a boat length, that's probably about two seconds only over the Victorians. And a bit of a, a contest going on for the minor placings here. For third, we could see on the far side of the course there, Queensland in lane two, lane five, South Australia, lane six, Western Australia. So the contest is going on behind the scenes, but down in front it is still New South Wales, leading by three quarters of a boat length. Victoria currently in second place, and Victoria and New South Wales, they'd be well experienced racing against each other in various boat classes through their entire junior careers, I would imagine. Oh, very much so, Tim, but here you are, you can see the New South Wales crew with the Cox in the back. Now, the Cox will have a PA system. She'll be communicating to her crew because, you know, basically they're, they're not sure where they're going or the Cox will be telling how far have you gone, where's the opposition, giving them encouragement, telling them about their rating and holding the crew to the race plan. And we could see the Victorian Cox there, Sarah Panty, just yelling and bellowing out instructions. Addie Dunkley-Smith was the stroke there. Olivia Honor just beside her. Chelsea Frawley, Georgina Howe, and then Hedda Cooper, Dee Williams, Adriana Marilelli, and then Katrina Werry in the bow seat. And we can see this Victorian combination just making a little bit of room there and making a little bit of an imprint on New South Wales. But it is still New South Wales out in front in lane four. And the Cox, Millicent.
Jordan Cheatham just yelling out instructions as well. She realised the challenge is coming now from Victoria. It's three quarters of a boat length. It's been that way for the last 100 metres. New South Wales out in front. Victoria in second place. Queensland making a little bit of a dent there into third position. South Australia currently in fourth. Western Australia and South Australia vying for fourth alongside Queensland. And out in front, though, it is still New South Wales. The predominant blue there for New South Wales. And, of course, the Men's Kings Cup a little later on today with New South Wales going for six wins in a row, which would be a record for New South Wales. In the women's, we have the Victorian combination going for nine wins in a row in the Queen's Cup a little later on this afternoon. But at the moment on screen, we're currently seeing New South Wales lead by three quarters of a boat length. It's Victoria in second place in lane three. And Victoria staying with New South Wales. They can't shake them, New South Wales. Effectively, no change through the third quarter of this race of that 500 metres. However, I think Victoria are just inching up there alongside and the, the Cox will be telling the girls, girls, give me the stroke person of the New South Wales group. Give me the seven person. So, you know, they're coming back. Uh, the challenge is for the New South Wales crew to hang on, but I think it's going to be a great race for second and the minor medals. And the power seat is Abella Wells as they cross now. 1,500 metres, 500 metres to go. It's New South Wales and Queensland and, and Victoria. And Victoria are the crew that's coming home strongly here. New South Wales still in second place is Victoria. Victoria two seconds and two behind New South Wales. And New South Wales realise the challenge is coming now. You can see the stroke there. Georgina got just really trying to lift the stroke rate. Here comes Victoria. And Victoria in second place. It is still New South Wales out in front. And New South Wales, their lead has been cut of anything. It's only three quarters of a boat length now. New South Wales in first place. Victoria in second. It's about 40 strokes to go with 300 odd metres left and the Victorians are coming back but you know that's not far to go and these eights they don't slow down a lot of momentum in the boats bit of tail breeze so it's going to be very hard for the Victorians to overtake New South Wales but it's a great race. New South Wales in first place in second it's Victoria half a boat length back can Victoria catch them it's still New South Wales out in front New South Wales they won the youth festival earlier this year against Victoria but the Victorians are coming home strongly New South Wales responding to the challenge and New South Wales lead by half a boat length still. Victoria in second place. Battle going on for minor placings too with Queensland, South Australia and Western Australia. But out in front, it is a race between these two top crews. New South Wales and Victoria and New South Wales with about 25 metres to go. Out in front, they lead by half a boat length. In second place, it is still Victoria. Victoria coming home strongly. New South Wales holding on as they push it towards the line on the shadows of the post. It will be New South Wales crossing the line in first place. Victoria in second in the Interstate Women's Youth 8. The Bicentennial Trophy is with New South Wales for the second year in a row. And in third place, far side of the course. And Queensland come home for the bronze medal only just, gee, just ahead of Western Australia who finished strongly and South Australia in the middle of the course. But New South Wales, with a time of 6.29.69, have won the Interstate Women's Youth 8. They've won the Bicentennial Trophy. New South Wales, the defending champions, have successfully defended their title. A great performance by New South Wales. It's a pretty good time, Tim, in the uh, Women's Youth 8, with slight, slight tail breeze on neutral. So they got out early, and you'll see in the eight races that if you get out early, you normally hang on to it in these eight odd events, which is a much quicker event than the single skulls. And at New South Wales... We can see they made a solid start there. New South Wales in lane four, Victoria in lane three, and New South Wales settling into their work there nicely, and they held off the challenge from Victoria through the final 500 metres, and uh, they stayed with each other. In fact, there hadn't been much change to the positions of the crews uh, through the entire second uh, and third 500 metres, Peter, where Victoria in second place, about three quarters of a boat length behind New South Wales, and New South Wales able to withstand the challenge as we see the finish line here, fast approaching, New South Wales finishing in first place, and Victoria in second, half a boat length back, and jubilation there from the New South Wales crew, Gotch, Bryant, Allen, Horton, Sanders, Parker, Keeley, and Wells, and the Cox, Militant Cheaton, and uh, tell you what, it was a great performance by New South Wales. Celebration there, probably too tired to celebrate, and they've won that race there. New South Wales, coming up shortly, we have the...